Hi, I just want to give you a little update. Uh, first of all, I hope you're all doing okay during these difficult times. And um, whatever you may be going through, I hope the videos give you a little entertainment and joy as many have messaged me saying that they have. I get lots of messages from people, many who are essential workers, telling me how the videos have helped out. Uh, and I appreciate that very much. That helps me keep motivated. So thank you. Thank you all. So we're still working on lots of videos. We plan to keep them coming. Obviously with COVID, we can't do things the way we used to. We used to have a very strict schedule with James and Mike Mondays and rental reviews on Fridays, but it's been harder to keep those consistent shows going. So you're still gonna see us talk about movies and games, but now the schedule is a little more random. We're still doing AVGN, that's not changing. Um, the more epic episodes have been postponed. So for the time being, I hope you understand that they're more back to basics. Back in February, right before COVID hit the States real bad, I was doing an episode that involved casino games and is a parody of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. But I'm gonna have to finish that later sometime. We plan to put out more You Know It's Bullshit episodes. We've talked about videos about games or movie collections. We've talked about doing a podcast and I really wanna do another music video. You should check out Mighty Wings and Hot Dukins because that was the most fun project I did all year. From this point forward, until we say otherwise, videos will be coming out twice a week. This will be on Tuesdays and Fridays, usually at noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there always could be extra videos in the week. With James and Mike Monday, we've been doing it for eight years, every Monday nonstop. So Mike suggested to me, why don't we take a break? Because all TV shows take breaks, whether it's a sitcom or a talk show, you know, it's like, why are we killing ourselves over it? So. We're still going to record from time to time, but we're going to relaunch James and Mike in February and there should be plenty of videos taking its place. With rental reviews, we discontinued it um, right when we hit episode 100. You should check out episode 100. It's a good one. Uh, it's about bad VHS covers or crazy VHS covers. The Screenwave crew, Justin, Kieran, and Tony, are still working on stuff for me. They're helping out with all kinds of things, from the research to the post-production, on the movie reviews and the nerd videos, but also appearing in some stuff down the line. And Justin's been the overall producer, helping with the scheduling and organizing and all that stuff. I probably don't even need to say this, but all convention appearances are off the table until things get better. Um, also, needless to say, any big film projects I might have mentioned are going to have to wait even longer. Um, but because I was itching so bad to do something creative, I started on a short film last fall, which was a sequel to a horror movie I made 20 years ago called The Head Incident. But after COVID hit, I had to change the script around and star in it myself, which I didn't intend. Um, so now I'm acting and doing camera, but whatever, I've done that a lot in the past, so I'm not a stranger to it. So the film might turn out to be a mess, but no matter how it turns out, at least I've made some kind of film and I hope to have that out by Halloween. I'm also trying to figure out how to publish my life story, a movie making nerd, which I intend to do as a printed book, a digital book, and an audio book. I've made progress since last time. The book is now formatted into a PDF with pictures and all that, which was a technical nightmare for me. I'd make one little change and then all the pictures are pushed onto the wrong pages and stuff gets all messy. It took several weeks, but it's basically done. Basically. Now, how to publish it? No idea, not yet. Uh, but I'm gonna get serious about this and I'm gonna try to get it out this year. Also, the AVGN video games, um, AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe, which is the actual title, is coming out soon, probably in September. We'll be announcing those dates soon with a new trailer. So it's basically the first two games remastered, combined together with a bonus chapter that's awesome. It's by the original developer Sam Bettos from Freak Zone Games and being published by Screenwave Media. Remastered means new content, art, and reworked sections. It's a new experience. It's coming out for PC and all consoles, including Nintendo Switch. There's probably going to be a physical release, but it'll happen a while after the digital release. 
Oh, and uh, speaking of physical, expect to see the game's soundtrack on vinyl. Yeah, vinyl, and that's what I've been told. Sounds pretty cool. Also, on another note, this summer, and probably this very month, marks the 20th anniversary of the name Cinemassacre. Yeah, I was making movies before that, but 20 years ago is when I first came up with the name. Anyway, that's all the stuff we have going on. Thanks for understanding the situation, and uh, hope you've been well.